Field in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. On first and ten, Smith. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. They go play action for Lacey. Now Rodgers. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. So much of his game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on him as they try and catch the ball. He's got his target. It's come. Now big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. 319. On first down, Rodgers. Caught left side by Cobb. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. His throw incomplete. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And Adams has it. Good play. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Rodgers again now. And he floats one there, incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Touchdown, Packers! Jordy Nelson from eight yards out. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And a little time... get an extra look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count so we're right back where we started all even as the kicks away and this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline 
And now here comes Kansas City. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. A little lull in the action here to go over an offseason storyline. It's kind of interesting. L.A., a couple years ago, they have no teams, and now they're going to have two with the move from San Diego to L.A. What does that mean for the league and for the Chargers? It seems like an... Oh, wide open, complete! And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown! Tyreek Hill, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And it's a short kick, taken right around the 19. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And that play was vintage Derek Johnson. Made a play in the backfield. In college, he did as an outside linebacker. Used speed to get to the backfield. Now, a bulked up. All right. Hang on here. We'll jump over halftime. Let the system and graphics catch up. Okay. All set. Third quarter now. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think... They... Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real duck. And this is taken in at the five. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 52 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. It's caught at the 10. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. now at Lambeau. 
It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. stay focused the onside kick team they need them to get the ball back yeah part one of the equation done now they need to convert then get that onside kick time definitely of the essence now just under a minute to play and here we go and the chiefs have got it and with that they should have a victory as well well fourth quarter they felt like they needed the football back unfortunately they couldn't get it and I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Second down now after the incompletion. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Now, after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Alan Bailey in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Ah! On second down, here's Rodgers. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much right an end to this one. To throw with Smith. He's going to air one out. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. And that'll bring up second down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the flop. Just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements. 